Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and we got a sneak peek for what I think could be the mid-month update, but it's actually a bit more confusing than that. So let's take a look here. Agents, despite the hot summer, the temperature has violently dropped, and there are reports of sightings of something in the vicious wind. Okay, that wording there needs some help. Summer ice storm. You can probably guess what this is. Wow, it says X-Men in huge, bold letters. Why don't you chill with us to weather the storm? <laughs> oh, the puns, the, the, the many, many puns. We will announce more details through the patch details later. So this is in line with what we would expect from a mid-month update. We also had expected to see the summer uniforms come back two weeks after the update dropped for Lo Thor Love and Thunder. So it should be about four days for the patch notes. However, let's check out the sneak peek. So right away, we see Storm going straight up into the sky, uh, and then she flies by the beach, and then we see Iceman, and he creates an ice pop, uh, and then, yeah, there's a picture of them having an X-Men summer. So we're getting new summer uniforms for Storm and Iceman, and this would also support the data mine that Storm is getting tier 4, because Storm is getting a new uniform, and she already has her tier 3. Now, if you needed even more proof that Storm is getting tier 4 next and not a speed type, well, I would ask you to pause at the very end of the video. Not at the very end of the video, but near the end of the video. You can see here that there is a very faint tier 4 right here. And then if you see here uh, on, on, the, on, the, cool, on the, the, the cooler that says Ice Cool, which is funny. Uh, there's a tier 3 logo. So Iceman's going to be getting his tier 3. And Storm is going to be getting her tier 4. That's a lot of blast books. That's a lot of blast books and a lot of Vishanti blast books. But yeah, if you still need more proof here, I'm going to uh, quickly screen grab this. And then I will take it into a photo editor to show you what it looks like. Okay, so we take a look at the screenshot here that I've provided. And you can see when you burn, it's... it's it, it's kind of easier to see and kind of harder to see but when you play with the the levels and you burn the image you can definitely see that there is a, a line the t is a lot harder to see but that's clearly a four like the number four uh which would indicate uh that it's you know so the, the four is like that and then we do see a line here so we're, we're kind of missing the t at the top but that would be tier four for storm and then for bobby for Iceman. It's a little bit, again, harder to see at the top. Uh, if you burn it, it's not necessarily easy. Well, it's it's kind of easier to see, actually. Yeah. So, again, the, the top of it is kind of cut off. But you have a three here. That this part, that middle part down is easy to see. And then you do see a line here. Again, we're missing the top of the T. But, yeah. So, then that is a T3 for Bobby. And a T4 for for storm which is a pretty big surprise in my opinion i mean storm we were still on the fence about because we were thinking you know maybe storm was data mined but she'll be coming later on down the line and in the meantime we'll be getting a speed tier four uh but no they're going back to blast and they're also giving iceman his tier three so there's actually a lot of good and some bad with this so we're gonna break it down now for you and talk about the good and the bad of this. And keep in mind, these are summer uniforms, right? Obviously, they're summer uniforms. So we're going to be applying the same logic to the summer uniforms that we've gotten in the past. That doesn't mean that the same logic will continue to apply. It just means that it probably will, right? So we're, I'm going to go under the assumption that the last two years of summer uniforms, starting with Cable uh, and Enchantress, and then moving on to Quicksilver and Silk, I'm going to assume that those same uh, strategies and marketing ideas are going to be repeated again. So what does that mean? Again, this is not a guarantee. This is just based on the existing model that they have and based on the speculation. That means that Storm's uniform is going to be paywall. That's the first thing that I see wrong with this scenario because this is the first time, I think it's the first time, that they've not only given a paywall uniform to a character, but they've also bumped the character up to a brand new power level that very few characters have. But you're gonna say, oh, Alex, they gave Silk a transcendence or whatever, they gave, you know, 
such, such and such character. They gave Kingpin a tier three with his uniform. Sure, they absolutely did. But at that time, there was already over 50 or 60 tier threes in the game. So to say that Kingpin was one of only a few tier threes is completely un untrue and inaccurate. Uh, to say that he was one of the few good combat villain tier threes is very accurate. So depending on how you look at it, it's not necessarily as unprecedented as we think. But with this tier four thing, it's a lot more drastic and it's a lot more exclusive. So I don't want to sound the warning bells or, you know, I don't want to cry too hard about this because we don't know if they're going to do that again. But the, again, the history tells us that all of the female uniforms, Enchantress, Silk, uh, White Fox, Black Cat, right? All of the feet, Gwenpool, all of the female uniforms are going to be paid, which then means all of the male uniforms are going to cost crystals. Bobby already costs crystals. He got a terrible rework with his last uniform. So I think this is just a massive win for Iceman fans. They're getting Iceman after Pride Month, which is great. Sorry, jokes aside, it's July, I know. Uh, but seriously, they're getting a, a, another shot at him getting an actual substantial rework. This is also really good because he's a really expensive character. So for players who not, are not necessarily big fans of Iceman, but they invested in him because he's an expensive character and they expected to get some sort of return on that, they haven't gotten their return. Iceman hasn't been good since he came out, right, in 2018. He hasn't. So it's sort of like high time. It's basically four years after he was released uh, that he's getting his second uniform. So they, they very, uh, they're very much behind the eight ball here. So I'm going to be watching very carefully and closely to see if they not only rework Iceman well with his new uniform, but also give him a competitive tier three because he's a very expensive blast type and he's going to be competing with some very, very expensive... Uh, other blast types right because I don't know why I can't filter okay there it is right if you look at if you just look at blast types uh we got you know we're gonna get storm so Iceman's gonna be competing with storm we have Iron Man we have Doctor Strange recently right and then if you want to talk PvP you've got uh Adam Warlock and Emma Frost Bla the blast class right now might be the most stacked class of all if you consider both PvE and PvP so there really is a lot of pressure for them to give him a worthwhile rework. If they just give him sort of like a so-so rework, it's going to be a big, big disappointment. So a lot is riding on that there. Uh, going back to Storm, again, I don't agree. And I think it's a bad idea if they make her uniform paywall. I think it's a really bad idea. I think they should avoid that just because it feels really bad. You know, we just introduced the tier four system like a month and a half ago, two months ago and you're already releasing a paywall uniform for a tier four uh sure you know at level 80 she's still gonna perform well with this uniform because the level 80 tier bump is just that busted so there are gonna be some net marble apologists who come out and try to explain it away that way oh you don't need storm's new uniform she she could she could still do ultron 24 or or null 50 with this uniform just get her to level 80. sure that's that's fine but everybody knows, everybody knows that the game only works, right? The game is only fun when you have new characters to work on. And the new uniforms these days are basically new characters because as we know from my other videos, the devs refuse to release new characters. So in, in place of new characters, we have to rely on and we have to sort of be satisfied with characters being transformed by uniforms, uh, thus making them into interesting characters once again right and so if you lock a new upgrade and sort of the interesting part of storm behind that paywall then that becomes a, a point of contention for players not everything in the game has to be free i'm not the kind of person that is diluted or disillusioned to think that you know a free-to-play player should have exactly the same things as a paying player 100 percent of the time i understand that's not how businesses work i understand that's not how any other model works for any other business so why should it work for this one uh but I do think the timing of this is wrong. If they had done this at Christmas, just, just for an example, if they had done this at Christmas after they had released like 10, 15, 20 tier fours, it would be easier to accept. And if they had waited a whole year for next summer, it would have been even easier to accept. But this is the, this is the earliest possible moment 
that they could have released a paywall uniform for an upcoming tier four. And I think that is a mistake they're making. So hopefully the devs notice that they know that and they change it, right? They can always just gender swap their idea and they can make Iceman the paywall uniform and Storm the crystal uniform. That would be totally fine. That would basically fix all of the problems that I have with this, because even if Iceman's uniform is paywall, I know that's going to upset some people who don't want it to be paywall. But again, Iceman as a tier three, we don't expect him to compete with Iron Man tier four. We do expect Storm to compete with Iron Man tier four. So in that case, it, it, it absolutely matters which one of them is getting the paywall uniform. So yeah, that is uh, the, the bad. The last bad thing here is that where's Gore, right? When Gore's not on the screen, all the other characters, all the other characters should be asking, where's Gore? Uh, but we don't seem to be having that. However, the one shred of hope that I have right now for Gore, besides some very cryptic, uh, some very cryptic messages from people saying, oh, he's definitely in the game files, is the fact that if we go back here uh, and we go over to the Twitter page for this, apparently, uh, if we go over to Twitter, apparently uh, they didn't call it the, the, the mid-month update. So they didn't call it the 8.2.5, right? They called it the 8.2.0. And Commander actually pointed this out on Twitter, and he said V8.2. So this is the second part of the main update, and not the mid-month, which would be 8.2.5. So this is really his way of huffing that copium, like me, praying that we're going to be seeing Gore next week. Or the week after that, sorry, in, in, about, in about a week and a half. I have no idea. Could be, could not be. Uh, but, but, you know, it's, it's possible that this is just a, a typo. We, we could be, uh, you know, holding on to our, our britches because of a typo, but maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't look very good. It certainly doesn't look very good for Gore right now. And that is a little bit upsetting as happy as I am. I'm torn. It's bittersweet as happy as I am that the mutants are getting reworks finally, the three problems are as follows. One, the paywall aspect for Storm Tier 4, if it is. And 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 the, the risk of Bobby getting another shitty upgrade because he's such an expensive character. Two, the, where's Gore? There's no Gore. Three, it's cool that two you that two cool, haha. It's cool that two mutants are getting reworks, but that doesn't mean they're gonna keep doing mutant reworks. So this could just be a red herring and then we get no more mutant updates for the rest of the year. And then I'm going to be making the same video at Christmas from the Bahamas, sipping a pina colada, yelling into the microphone, into the camera and the microphone, begging the devs to give us more mutant upgrades. So hopefully I'm wrong on all three. That's what I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping that Storm is not paywall. I'm hoping that Gore is around the corner, lurking in the shadows, and I'm hoping that we're going to be getting more mutant upgrades for the rest of the year. But yeah, that's just what I hope. What do you hope? Sound off in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for listening to the rant and my worries and my concerns. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.